So let's get to it. And let's just start with a little Venn diagram warm up because on Tuesday we did do Venn diagrams. And um, let's just see if we can remember. Here's a, a, a Venn diagram. What have we got here? It's the Venn diagram shows some information about two sets. The name of animals and words that are five letters long. So how many words are there? Words are five letters long. How many words are five letters long? Pop it in the chat. Pop your answer in the chat so that I can see what you're thinking. For the first one, how many words are five letters long? Just five, okay? So when it asks for five, we don't have to overcomplicate it or anything. We just say, oh, it's five. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Words that are five letters long. Write down the, the elements in set A. Use the form A as names of animals. Okay, so this is what we did on Tuesday, writing um, stuff in set notation. So um, let's do that quickly. So A is all the names of the animals. So the names of the animals, you make your curly bracket, and we can see that that's everything in the circle, including the overlap. So it's lion, duck, cat, giraffe, dog, sheep, and tiger. Okay, and then you close your curly bracket. <clears throat> Right, so that was just a little warm up to get us get our heads back into um, thinking about Venn diagrams. Here's another one. Let's see. Have a quick read and then pop your answer in the chat. Mandeep asked 100 people whether they liked coffee or tea. The Venn diagram shows the results. How many people enjoy both coffee and tea? Pop it in the chat. about 89 Watobians, so there should be 89 answers flowing into this chat. Nice, good stuff. Nice, Nikki, and Asanda, Natasha, Uwami. All nice, good answers, and we are looking, obviously, at this space here <coughs> where the overlap is. How many people enjoy coffee but not tea? <clears throat> Coffee, but not tea. Yeah, I agree with that. That's the 38, eh? So it's only coffee. And how many people like neither coffee nor tea? Do we know where to look for that? Looks like what Tobians do know where to look for that. That's the 22. That is outside of the circle. Do not like coffee or tea. Okay, right. I think we are ready for something a little bit more um, interesting. So, I'm going to put the question up. There it is. And as always, I want you to read the question. And then when you're done reading, pop your reading face into the chat so that I know that you are done reading. <laughs> yeah, Ms. Koko Liach Luma is um, saying they can only see participant name and pictures. Um, I think the solution for that, just correct me if I'm wrong, is to zoom in or zoom out, or is that must they turn their device the other way? Um, Ms. Koko, if you can just let us know. Yes, so you can just either put your fingers on your screen, zoom in or out. 
and then uh, just try and turn your screen and then it should come up. Okay. <clears throat> Right, so most people seem to have completed reading the question. So we have in a group of 50 people, 30 who can speak Afrikaans, 40 can speak Isizulu. There are 25 of these people that can speak both languages. Okay, so let's draw a Venn diagram for this. I'm going to give you about 30 seconds to draw your Venn diagram. Okay, so for our Venn diagram, we need a sample space. That just represents the space that we are working with. And then in our sample space, we've got two groups of people. Um, one group speak Afrikaans, 40 speak Isizulu, but then there's also some who speak both. So that means when we draw our Venn diagram, our group of people who speaks um, Zulu and Afrikaans, they are going to overlap. Just going to center it a bit better. <clears throat> okay. So here's my group for Afrikaans, A, and here's the group for Isi Zulu. Um, 25 speak both. So who can tell me how many people speak only Afrikaans? Pop it in the chat if you know. Listen carefully to the question. Only Afrikaans. Because 25 of the 30 people that speak Afrikaans can also speak Isi Zulu. Okay, so you got to read it carefully. Altogether, we've got 30 people Af speaking Afrikaans, but 25 speak both. So the ones who only speak Afrikaans is five. Now, how many people speak only Isi Zulu? Pop that in the chat. Okay, some are saying 10, some are saying 15. I agree with the 15. And let's just write some notes here. So Afrikaans only <clears throat> is going to be the 30 people who speak Afrikaans minus the 25 who speak both. So that gives you five. And then Isi Zulu only. Only, they can only speak the one language is 40 minus the 25 who speak both. So we have to subtract that, that gives me 15. Okay, so that's what your Venn diagram must look like at the moment. To double check, make sure your numbers add up to 50. So do they add up to 50? A group of 50 people Just double check. <clears throat> so I've got 25 plus 15 plus 5. 45. Okay. Right. So they add up to 45. So what does that mean if it adds up to 45? Does anyone want to tell us? Put your hand up if you want to tell us what that means. Yes, see our team, but tell us. Um, it means um, I don't know, people speak neither um, is it Zulu or, or Afrikaans. So where are we going to put that five? Of the next to the, the I bottom of the screen. That's it. Over here on its own. That's what. That's where it's going to go. Right. Okay, some people are asking for explaining again where the 15 and the 5 came from. Just look here. We made a note about that. 
we are subtracting from the people who can speak Afrikaans, from the 30 who can speak Afrikaans, we subtract those who can speak both languages so that we can get the number of people who only speaks Afrikaans. Okay, the group of 30 that can speak Afrikaans includes the people who can speak both languages. Okay, and the same with the EC Zulu. <clears throat> so we put the five over there. So we have to always do that double check. Okay, we have 50 people in our sample. Does it all add up to that? So if I take the five plus the 25, five plus 25 plus 15, I actually end up, and you can work it out on your calculator, it's 45. So we have five people missing, and those are the five people who do not speak any of these languages out of the group of 50. That's where the five came from. Okay, what is our next question? How many of these, uh, of these 50 people cannot speak either of the two languages? And that question we just answered, five. Five people cannot speak either. And if a person is chosen from this group at random, find the probability that this person can speak at least one of the two languages. Read it carefully, at least one. So that means one or two languages. So how many people can speak at least one of the languages? Pop it in the chat. And remember what Tobians, by now I expect you to be able to write your probabilities as simplified fractions. This question is asking for probability. So you have to give a simplified fraction as your answer. Just writing 25 is not enough. We are doing a probability, which means we take the number and divide it by the total. Okay at least one of the two languages. So that will be the people who can only speak Afrikaans, the people who can speak both, and the people who can only speak Isi Zulu. You add that all up and you put that over 50. And what do you get? You get 45 over 50. <clears throat> okay, so everyone who said, a half, that is not right. I'm not sure how we got a half. It's nine out of 10. Yeah, let's, let's give that one another go, everybody. I think some of you are just maybe typing what other people are typing and that's not really um, very smart, eh? You need to think for yourself and do your own calculations. Okay, doesn't the total number of people equal 50? But we have 40 Isi Zulu speakers and 30 Afrikaans speakers, which equals 70. Exactly, Leah Luma. So because the 30 and the 40 together make up more than what the sample is, that can't happen. That makes no sense. So there's an overlap between those who speak Afrikaans and Isi Zulu. And with these Venn diagram questions, with these probability questions, you're going to see that a lot that the numbers add up to more than what uh, the number of people in the group is or the sample spaces. And that means that there is an overlap somewhere. That is how, that is why we always start with the intersection, the bit in the middle. It says there, there are 25 people who can speak both languages. And that is why we put that down first and then the rest. Okay. Nine out of 10. Yeah, so let's just go through that again. Uh, the probability that this person can speak at least one language, at least means um, one or more, okay? One of the languages or both of them. So you take the people who can speak only Afrikaans plus the people who can only speak um, Isizulu plus the people who can speak both because they can speak one or more of the languages. Okay. Now let's see the last one. What is the probability that this person, so you're saying a random person from this sample, from this group, what is the probability that 
They can speak Isi Zulu, but not Afrikaans. Think about this carefully now. Not Afrikaans at all, okay? What is the probability that they can speak Isi Zulu, but not Afrikaans? <clears throat> Okay, seeing some answers coming through in the chat. Isi Zulu, but not Afrikaans, means you do not include in your numbers any of, of the Afrikaans. You only include the Isi Zulu, <coughs> which is this here, the 15. 15 out of 50, those are the people who can speak only Isi Zulu. And like I said, by now, guys, you need to start making sure that you simplify your fractions. So if it's 15 out of 50, you don't need to even think about it. Just put it into your calculator. That is 3 out of 10. Okay, good stuff. Three out of 10. Radio. Okay. So, what have we seen so far? Overlap, the intersection, which we talked about on Tuesday, where the two things overlap, that you always do first. So, in this example, we had 25 people who spoke Afrikaans and Isi Zulu. So we take that 25 away from the total of people who speak Afrikaans so that we can calculate the number of people who speak Afrikaans only, okay? That's what we did over here. That's how we got the five. And then the Isi Zulu, we did the same with. We said the 40 people minus the 25 who speak both gives you the number of people who only speak Isi Zulu. Our numbers cannot add up to more than the 50. So we need to go look where the intersection is. Okay, give me a thumbs up in the chat if you're happy with that. And if you are not giving a thumbs up, then ask a question. Nice. Okay, good stuff. Okay, right. Now, let's have a look at this one. <clears throat> and remember what we said about the intersection. That is always what we should start with. Okay. So, again, <laughs> That's good, <laughs> Saku. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Um, right, so again, read the question and then let's choose a different emoji for finish reading. Let's use our brain emoji for this one. If you are done, put your brain down. <clears throat> <laughs> Brain and a heart. <laughs> right. Okay. So James surveyed 80 people. He found that 47 of them regularly play, played sport. So let's highlight some of the important bits here. 80 people, 47 of them 
played sport. 39 attended the gym. 10 said they neither played sport nor attended the gym. <laughs> and Sid's brain can't find mine. <laughs> okay, Onati, all good. <laughs> Can you literally not find your brain? <laughs> okay, so 10 people neither play sport nor attend the, the gym. Okay, so that means they didn't do those things. Okay, so what is the first thing you notice, guys? What is 47 and 39 add up to? <clears throat> What do you get if you add 47 and 39? Pop it in the chat. Nice, Brandon's first. 86, that's right, okay? So what does that tell us? If you think back to what you learned from the previous question, what does that tell us? The 86 is more than the 80 people that James surveyed. So what do we have to look for? They are going to intersect. Well done. That's it. So they are going to be some people who play sport and some people who attend the gym. Okay. So let's just start off. Now, what is this? How is this different from our previous question? This one is a little bit tougher because they don't tell us how many people do both. Okay. Not telling us how many, but that's okay. We're going to figure it out. So let's start by drawing our Venn diagram. Here's our sample space. <clears throat> let's use S for sport, G for gym. G for gym. Okay, and let's draw our two circles. There's the one, there's the other. Okay, so while you're doing that in your book, use your prit or something for nice round um, Venn diagram circles. And let's label this side is. And this side G. <clears throat> okay, I wonder, I think the question was just that we noticed that the 47 and the 39 adds up to 86, which is more than the 80 people that James had in the sample. So that means that there's an intersection somewhere. And that it, well, not some way, it means that there's an intersection between those who go to gym and those who play sport. Okay, we're going to pop the number of people who do neither outside here, these 10. And now we need to figure out how many people actually do both. And you always start with that part. Okay, so you start, and since we don't know what it is, we're going to make that an X. Right, everyone with me? Pop a um, thumbs up in the chat if you're happy. Since we don't know how many people do both, we're going to make that an unknown. We're going to make that an X. <laughs> okay. Right, so the number of people who play sport that is 47, right? So if you think back what we did to the previous question, we subtracted that middle part from each of the Afrikaans and each of the Isizulu. So we're going to do the same here. So the number of people who only play sport. Is the 47 
who we know play sport minus those ones who do both. Okay, so that's the next part that we are gonna fill into our Venn diagram. 47 minus X. <clears throat> and then try and do on your own for gym, what is what are we going to put for those people who only go to gym? Pop it in the chat if you know. Nice, Lashandre. Nice. Good job, Lolita and Fincy. That's great. Where's everyone else? Come. Let me see. Lonelo, well done. And Unati also. Excellent, guys. There's Bokomuso as well. Okay, so we're going to say that this is 39 minus X. Okay, now how are we going to solve for this X? Does anyone know? Does anyone want to put their hand up and tell me how will we solve for this X? Go for it, Bukamoso. Hi, ma'am. Hi, how are you? <laughs> um, good, good, good. Um, I wanted to say, Nam, the way in which we're able to find the the 39 so in total we were told that we got eight people but then we actually realized that these it's actually 86 that there's six people we do not know of so i think the plan of action is that we do 86 minus the um, yeah 86 minus the 47 minus x or we can either um uh the English. We can either say uh 47 minus x is equal to 39 minus x because they intercept, you know. Right. Okay. Okay. All right. So some people say um we do Elifa says we do x is 49 minus 37. Okay, but let's think about this, guys. All the numbers. The people who only play sport, those who do both, those who only go to gym, and those who do neither, all of that must add up to 80. Okay. So that's what we are going to do. We're going to have to make an equation. So someone said make X the subject. Yeah, you were on the right track. But we need to make an equation. Wherever there is an X, there's an equation that we need to make. So the people from playing sport, the people who do go to gym, the X number of people that we don't know do both, plus the 10 who do nothing, that must all add up to 80. So that's where our equation is going to come from. So let's do that. We say the 47 minus X, that's the people who only play sport, plus those who do both, that's X, plus those who only go to gym, plus those who do nothing must add up to 80. Okay, because we're looking for the number of people who do both. And that's going to help us solve for X. Right, so there's a little equation for you to solve. Um, I think you're all capable of doing this one. Go for it. <clears throat> nice, yeah. Okay, so solve it. And then as soon as you've solved for your X, pop it in the chat. Well, Kili, I think you need to go back and have another look. It, it is unfortunately not as simple as just going 47 minus 39, okay? We have to solve the whole equation. Unati, um, Anati, if you're asking a question, you say don't understand. Um, Yo, be a little bit more specific so that I know how to help you a bit better. But I see Ms. Coco did answer you. X is 16. I think Tando, Gabriel, Pendile. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's solve this equation. Okay, so let's put the numbers together. Um, I think four people do both and then 16 <laughs> how did you get 16 okay we're going to look at it now i wonder here we go okay so let's put the numbers together 47 
plus 39 plus 10. That we can just put onto our calculator, 47 plus 39 plus 10. That's 96. And then I have a minus X and a plus X, that's gonna be zero minus another X and that's 80. <clears throat> Look again, Anati, it's 96. Just do it on your calculator if you're struggling to do it in your head. And then I'm going to take the 96 over to the other side and subtract it. So that's going to give me 80 minus 96 is minus 16. Now I don't want minus X, I want X on its own. So we can divide by a negative one or times by a negative one on both sides and then X is 16. Okay, so that gives us our X. If you are unsure about that, pop, in a, pop a question in the chat so we can be, okay, my wait, sorry. Where did you get 96? Add the numbers guys, 47 plus 39 plus 10, that's 96. That's correct, Maloney. That's why we divide by negative one. The 80 is the number of people in the sample. James surveyed 80 people. Remember at the start, I said highlight all those important numbers. Not stupid, Bokawuso, not stupid. <laughs> um, Rufilo, I, I'm not sure if you heard correctly, it's definitely 96. Okay, and there's a question about adding up the sixes, guys, a minus X plus X gives you no Xs, that's zero. <laughs> yeah, Lea Fluma's mind is blown. Okay, Anati, you have a question. In the meantime, guys, redraw your Venn diagram because we're now going to replace these X's with actual numbers because we've now solved for X. Anati, go for it. You have a question. Okay. Um, hey, guys. Met him. Um... I do not understand. Um, if I'm calculating la um kupuma um oh um it's ninety ninety-six but metum when I would say kupuma u ninety u ninety-six what I'm ninety five. Miss Kako, are you able to translate? No, I can not con in con again. And I think better I'm the number. You have only fourteen and thirteen, eh? When we add them together, so you guys are seven. And then we have nine plus seven. Is those niggas up? How much? That's going to give us 16. So we're going to have 70 plus 16. That's 86. And then I want? Yeah. 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 You have 47 plus 39, is how much? 86. Yeah, one. And then you corner plus 10. You have one. Plus 10. Oh, yeah, 96. Okay. <laughs> yeah. okay, we're on board. We're all together. <laughs> okay, good stuff. Um, let's just, Lashandra, I'll get to you in a minute. Um, I just want us to finish this before we have to do our quiz. So we said that X is 16, which is the number of people who do both. Now, how many people are going to only play sport? Pop that in the chat. <clears throat> 47, 1, 4, 47 minus 16 is 31. Excellent. Okay, and what? How many people are going to go to gym? Gym is 23. So we go 60, uh, 39 minus 16 
that is going to give me 23. Okay, well done, guys. You got through that. That's excellent. <laughs> now it's your turn, Nishandra. What do you want to ask? Lishandra? Hello. Ma'am, I just wanted to know if I add all these values, will it give me 80 at the end? Have you checked? No. Okay, check for us. Let's do it. 31 plus 16 plus 23. What do we get? It's good to check. You must check. Family is 70. Plus the 10, remember, we don't do anything. We are couch potatoes. Oh, yes, ma'am, it's 80. Got it. Thank you, ma'am.